Hi, it's uh, Andrew Priestley, uh, Multiply Your Money, Episode 9. I was just, just, just chatting. I was just chatting a couple of minutes ago, a couple of minutes ago, right? And there was something, It's as always, it was the best thing I had to tell you and I forgot all about it. I, it just skipped my mind. So I thought, look, I'm just going to sneak back on and do a really, really quick one, right? Um, the point I was making was this. You can, you know, when I was, when I was researching uh, the money chimp, right? And I did easily two, two and a half, three years research reading on this, right? Where it was dedicated. This is what I'm doing. I read over 140 books. I looked at over 300 websites. I looked at, did 43 courses on managing money, right? And I was looking for the patterns and the themes and what was, you know, what worked and what didn't work. Okay. Um, But the point is I immersed in the topic. I immersed in the topic. You're not going to... Go to bed tonight and wake up and bing, I'm really good with money. It's not going to happen, okay? If you're thinking, hoping, and put the word hope in there, if you're hoping tomorrow you're going to wake up and suddenly all your money worries are going to clear up, no. It's naive, totally naive, right? So you've got to like anything, anything, think about this, anything that you've achieved, anything that you're good at, Right? I guarantee you spent time cultivating your knowledge and skills and thinking around that topic. You've spent time on it. And money's just the same. You know, right at the very, very start, I did a video, I think video number one, where I talk about, you know, monkey magic and a barrel of monkeys. And, you know, it's a stupid little game. But if you want to get good at that game, right, um, you've got to play the game over and over and over and learn from it. Uh, my sister got me onto an app while I was in Australia called uh, Wooden Blocks. And I can't believe how quickly and easily I got sucked into this game and how much I played on this this stupid game. And then I realized I should be doing better things with my time, right? So I know that a lot of people I talk to about money issues, you know, they're watching reruns of Friends, which is, Friends is a great show, nothing wrong with Friends, right? And they've got a PhD in football scores, you know, who's, you know, I, I, when I get on the train, I see the guys on the train going up to the football. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But they're, they're masters in football steps. They're not even club managers or trainers or don't have a financial interest in it, but they know all the stats, and yet they're broke. I talk to guys who, you know, they, they, they talk at large about, you know, uh, information that is crazy, and yet when I ask them about money, they go silent. So like anything, you've got to dip into it. So this book is a bit of a shortcut. It's a little bit of an overture, if you like, right? It's an overture to this topic because in all of those resources that I looked at, that I immersed in over those years, um, uh, there were 10 big ideas, right? And I books will have seven of them or five of them or three of them or eight of them. But I think this is the first book that's got all 10 of those ideas in there, in the one place, Right, so I've done the, I've sort of done the research for you a little bit. You know, the ten big ideas, the ten big things are earning, spending, saving, investing, giving. That's the that five money habits, money, managing habits, and the skills are monitoring, focusing, reduce your spending, develop your financial literacy, and take action. Those are the ten big ideas. Just about look at all those books behind me. Those are the ten big ideas that come out of that. Um, but you've got to engage with it. So the very first thing, I was between a rock and a hard place, and this was probably one of the very first money books. Look, you can see how old it is, right? It was one of the first money-managing books that I bought, and it was quite expensive. And um, and I just absolutely just devoured it. Look, it's all faded and that, and it had, you know, look, it had, it had my lists in it. And it had it came with envelopes that you had to fill out, and you had to put you had to put dates on there. Oh, I don't think you can see that dates on there, and you had stickers so that you could label your, you know, you could label your envelopes. And it was a cash it was a cash management thing. So you used to put cash in these little envelopes. I don't think don't think you can get this anymore, but it was a fabulous book. But the thing is, I gave this to a mate of mine who was in dire straits. He said no, it didn't work. And when I asked him. He didn't spend any time in it. He didn't immerse in it, right? So while you've got all of those books, you can read all those books, but just take one book and do it correctly. So I've tried to put the best into this one book here so that you can actually just immerse in it. 
and go through it carefully. And I thought, how do I, how do I help people get the most out of this little book? And I thought, okay, videos. And you, know, you can read stuff, but um, you also learn something by, um, I think, by hearing the person who wrote the book, by listening to the author, you know, where they're coming from, and you get a sense of what it was about. You know, I know why I want to manage my money because I want to have a lot more fun in life. You know, like, you know, uh, uh, I manage my money well so that I can have a lot of fun. I just, you know, uh, I've just come back from Australia, for example, for a fortnight. Am I worried about money? No. You know, I've set it up so that money works for me. You know, but did, did I wake up with that in my head? No, no. I had to work at it. I had to think through. And I put all the best thinking into this book. And I meet people who are on fabulous incomes and they won't buy a kit like this and work their way through it step by step carefully. You know, Even this, this is crazy, but this is an old book that was put out. I don't remember when this was put out, but it was put out Halifax. Remember, I, remember Halifax? Halifax put out a book, You and Your Money. And look how tiny it is, right? It's only a tiny little thing. But the ideas, they put so many good ideas in here. And I started just to go through and apply them. I thought, well, they put this is a bank telling me what I should do. So I went and filled in, you know, I went and filled in there. I, that one's not because I photocopied and filled that one in. But but um, I took a scan of that and then filled in those because I kept working on it. But, but it was so helpful. But if you don't do that, no one can help you. You won't spend less. You won't save more money and you won't get out of credit card debt. You just hope you do. Okay. And in my last video, what I said was, you've got to think, what state am I coming from if I'm going to approach this money thing? If I come from the state of, oh my God, life sucks, this is going to be really hard, blah, 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 you're not receptive to the information. You've got to, you've got to say, when was a time that I've been in a really playful, creative, empowered state? Think of, I don't care what it was, you know, you could have been when you were cooking. You know, what did it feel like in that state? And get in that state and then look at the money stuff. Because I talk to people who, when they come into a, a, a you know a workshop and they're talking about money with me, they come in, they come in like that. That's not a state. So we have to we have to change the state. If you look at Tony Robbins, for example, good old Tony Robbins, oh, Tony, you know what does he do first? Gets everyone in state, and then bang, he can make changes quickly. That's how it works. It's not hard. You don't have to go to a Tony Robbins event. You know, you can just think. What have I done recently that made me feel really great? Um, uh, you know, you can think about what states did I have yesterday that made me feel great. Pay attention to them. Write them down. When was a time yesterday when I felt really good? What was I doing? How was I feeling? What was happening? Pay attention. Those are states. Get into that state. It doesn't have to be around money. It can be around anything. You know, I get I get into state eating Kit Kats. <laughs> and drinking... <laughs> Seriously naughty states. <laughs> Coffee and Kit Kats. <laughs> Puts me in state. <laughs> and then I start reading The Money Tip. <laughs> start thinking, I get ideas. I immerse. I immerse in stuff. Okay? I hope that helps. I know I've done three. I'm going to space these out. I'm going to take them off and put them back up again so that you're not overloaded. But anyway, I just had to get that off my head. Have a great day. See ya.